showing a case of ultrasound guided percutaneous nephrostomy with percutaneous drainage of urinoma. The patient is a 28 year male. He had left ureteric, lower ureteric calculi of 6 mm and 4 mm with small bilateral renal calculi. Left URSL was attempted elsewhere but failed 20 days back and right side stenting was done. Patient was referred to us. The patient presented with left loin pain and fever chills for the past few days. Our CTKB showed a urinoma anterior to the psoas. This is the low, lower ureteric stone and this is the renal stones. The system is not that dilated. Left side kidney, PCS is not that dilated but and we can see a urinoma tracking along the psoas. This is the ultrasound picture of the kidney and this is the ultrasound picture of the collection that is a urinoma which has collected anterior to the psoas. We attempted ureteroscopy and RGP. The left ureteric orifice is visualized but even the 4 by 6.5 ureteroscope could not be negotiated into the ureter and guide wire also could not be passed. Contrast when injected could not be injected into the ureter and all the contrast was leaking back into the bladder. Therefore, we switched to ultrasound guided anti-grade axis. Guide wire also could not be passed. Even though we could see the small ureteric or orifice, the lumen was very narrow. Scope could not be negotiated. Ureteric catheter could not be passed. Guide wire could not be passed. Contrast also could not be injected. So ultrasound guidance is taken. This is the urinoma which is seen. And this is the kidney. The lower calyx is targeted. The calyx, infundibulum and pelvis is seen in one line and the trajectory is aligned in that line and now we can see the needle entering the PCS under ultrasound guidance. It's coming through the lower calyx, infundibulum and then it is coming to the pelvis. If we do not do this proper alignment, it may sometimes become a pelvic puncture and while doing this kind of manipulation, it is important for the anesthetist to take the anesthetist help to keep the patient in apnea so that the kidney doesn't move and the puncture needle reaches the target properly. The puncture is done, clear urine was coming through the needle and contrast is injected. It is seen entering the PCS and lower down in the lower ureter the complete cutoff of contrast is seen. So under fluoroscopic guidance, guide wire is passed and the tract is dilated, a 14 French Malicots catheter is kept. Next, we come to drainage of the urinoma. This is the urinoma which is seen. The needle is passed into the cavity and it is also dilated. You can see the urine which is draining from the urinoma cavity that was aspirated and sent for culture sensitivity. Guide wire is passed which is coiled in the cavity and again Malicot 16 French is placed after tract dilatation. This is the drainage of urinoma. So in this case, with the lower ureteric injury, lower retrograde axis is not possible and the patient has a urinoma, he is in sepsis. This is the true use of ultrasound for percutaneous axis. Thank you.